Hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is the 53rd part of what if Deku was Sanji's reincarnation, my heroes reborn, the author of this great fan if I see is M. Ivoli links to them and original story in the description. Chapter 53, Lethal Joke Character, Fight Izuku was headed towards camp with Kota still on his back. However as he used Skywalk he saw someone important below him. Mr. Aizawa. Said Izuku. Aizawa sighed when Izuku landed in front of him. He looked at Izuku while he did have a few bruises and a cut on his face he looked pretty much fine. Midoriya. Said Aizawa. He wasn't really sure what to say to him. After all when hearing there were multiple villains in the forest he knew that the kids had to fight back. Combined with the fact no one knew just how powerful Izuku was. Plus after his own fight Aiko had confirmed that Izuku managed to overcome his mental blocks. Can you get Kota to safety? Asked Izuku. Let me guess you're going after Bakugo? Asked Aizawa. I really should. Admitted Izuku, he wouldn't like it, but it would be a good idea. Aizawa sighed and messaged his devolving headache. Please don't try to fight that Nomu. Groaned Aizawa. Don't worry I won't. Said Izuku. Aizawa looked at Izuku skeptically. I nearly vomited seeing that thing from a distance with my hockey. Explained Izuku, I don't think I can fight it up close. Look Izuku will be fine. Said Aiko, though I'm wondering if his leg is okay. What? Asked Izuku. You used Hell Memory Smash against the guy, if my memory is correct your leg might be in bad shape. It's not that bad. I'm getting better at it. Said Izuku. Aizawa just looked at Izuku. I'll just take the kid. He groaned. Good call. Sighed Aiko from Aizawa's device. Izuku gave Aizawa Koda. Just please, please don't after that Nomu. Said Aizawa. Don't worry, I won't. Said Izuku. Aizawa watched as Izuku once again took to the sky. Don't worry I'm pretty sure he's not lying. Said Aiko. Aizawa nodded. Besides I'm pretty sure that one of the others might be fighting that thing. Said Aiko. What? Asked Aizawa. Just never mind. Said Aiko, and focus on getting G that kid to safety. Aizawa just sighed. Why did Priestess have to be at the USJ? He muttered. Don't ask me. I don't have any sources to tell me why. Said Aiko. Hey I was wondering, his quirk is strength based right, how is he able to use fire? Asked Koda. Why didn't you ask him? Asked Aiko. I wasn't sure if he would answer me. Said Koda. It's because you punched in the nads isn't it? Asked Aiko. Uh. Said Koda. I'm probably not the best one of explain. Sighed Aizawa. Trust me on it kid, you don't want to know what he's been through. Said Aiko, honestly it's a miracle that he even functions most of the time, that all of them are able to function. What do you mean? Asked Koda. You don't want to know. Said Aizawa. Koda was quiet. Back with Toru, she and Kyoka hid under the tree. Do you really think you can handle him alone? Asked Kyoka. Listen things are going to get really weird. Said Toru. How weird are we talking about? Sked Kyoka. She then took out multiple party cannons. Don't worry. I won't do a song and dance to distract him. Said Toru. Okay seriously that's the second time you brought that up, did you do that a lot in your past life? Asked Kyoka. It's better if you don't know. Said Toru. She then shot the party cannons at Jack Attack. He got hit hard by the confetti blasts. That was when Toru seemingly teleported to by his side and hit him in the fact with a pie. Jack Attack stumbled back but then realized something. You didn't hit me in the face with a real pie. Said Jack Attack. Nope, shaving cream, one of my classmates really hates it when someone wastes food. 
said Toru, I fear the day when someone destroys cake in front of him and Momo. Said day will be a day long remembered. So a fellow jokester. Said Jack attack. He sent out the playing cards at her but she managed to dodge easily by skipping. Okay. I really should give you information about him. Said Iko, Jack attack, his quirks lets him create razor sharp playing cards. Was a fairly average hero until priestess got to him, then he remember his past life as a villain known as the Joker. That's all I know about his past life. I have a source for Righteous Fury's past life, which why I know more about her. I see. Said Toru. Also no, despite coming from a world of heroes and villains he and Hibiki weren't from the same world. Said Aiko. I get the feeling that's also because his universe feels animated. Said Toru, and also Mark Hamill is very awesome. Yes Mark Hamill was a very awesome man, but what does that have to do with anything? Said Aiko. You won't be able to get it. Said Toru. Okay. I'm just going to shut up because I have to feeling things going really weird. Said Aiko. Good call. Said Toru. You done getting exposition? Asked Jack Attack. I'm good. Said Toru. Are you giving me the thumbs up? Asked Jack Attack. I'm giving you the thumbs up. Said Toru. The fight began again. Jack Attack started to throw more of his playing cards as her. She dodged a few by skipping. Then she took out he transceiver and used it as a shield to block every single card thrown at her. Hey! Rude! Said Aiko. Sorry, sorry. I won't use as a weapon again. I just use a different friend. Said Toru. Yeah, that doesn't sound ominous. Said Aiko as Toru picked the transceiver. Use your friend as a weapon? Aren't you supposed to be a hero? Asked Jack Attack. She didn't mind the first time. Said Toru as she took out another of her party grenades. It distracted him. You know, it's weird, and you mentioned it yourself but you're going easy on me. Said Toru. Jack Attack scowled as he removed confetti. Why is that? Asked Toru. I have my reasons. Said Jack Attack. He tossed more playing cards her. She took out another party bazooka and fired it. It hit him head on. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Yelled Toru making a gesture at him. Two things, we're already fighting in the other. You're pointing at me aren't you? Asked Jack Attack. I'm pointing at you. Said Toru. That was when suddenly Toru pulled out a lavender olicorn from somewhere. Sorry about this twilight. Said Toru. Wait, what? Said the olicorn. She then twirled the alicorn's tail like a gatling gun causing a rapid fire effect from the alicorn's horn. Jack attack ran away from the rapid fire. Thanks twilight. Said Toru. Wait Toru. Said the Olicorn who was indeed her friend from her past life Twilight. However Twilight disappeared just as she came. Meanwhile in Equestria. Twilight sat at a table blinked as she drank tea with her mentor Celestia, Luna's sister and fellow former princess. What just happened? Asked Celestia. Toru. Pinkie Pie's reincarnation just grabbed me to use a weapon during a fight. Sighed Twilight. She then slammed her head into the table. Should have listened to Spike. Said Celestia taking a sip of tea. Should have listened to Spike. Agreed Twilight, now I owe him so many gems. Spike her oldest friend, friendship ambassador and also a comic book nerd warned her that something like that might happen during a hero slash villain fight. Back in the forest. You are or so lucky that I'm going easy on you. Mocked Jack Attack, if I had my usual stuff on me you would be dead right now. And unfortunately for you. I'm not. Said Toru. That was when Jack Attack noticed what appeared to be a pink bomb that was shaped like an old-fashioned nuclear bomb. Wait is that a? Said Jack Attack. 
my strongest party bomb, said Toru. And through the forest they all saw a giant mushroom cloud made out of confetti and streamers. Everyone stared at it in confusion. Well mostly. Well looks like Toru went all out. Said Izuku as he ran to his first destination. You have no idea. Said Aiko. What happened? Asked Izuku. You don't want to know what I saw her do. I'm pretty sure she broke the walls of reality. Said Aiko. Yeah, sounds about right. Said Izuku. All right, friend who was a protector of dreams. Said Aiko. Back with Toru and Jack Attack, Jack Attack was in a daze. You know what? I'm giving up, life to fight another day. Mumbled Jack Attack. He got up to leave. Oh wait I get it now. Said Toru. What? Asked Jack Attack. The reason why you went easy on us and just used your quirk is that the good part of you is still alive and is fighting against the insane and evil personality of your past life said Toru. Jack Attack sneered at Toru and then ran off. It was true, the part of him that longed to be a hero, to be a good person at times fought against the Joker's personality, it was few and far between but it still happened. And that's what happened that night him going easy. But it was clear thanks to his fight with Toru that's not what was going to happen in the future. You can come out now. Said Toru. Turned out Kyoka didn't leave but watched the fight from a hiding place. What was that? Asked Kyoka. Special party powers. Said Toru. Okay. Said Kyoka, next time you tell me to run. I'll do it. Good. Said Toru. That Kazar when Toru shuddered again. What is it now? Asked Kyoka. Toru took a breath, it took her years of years of training to figure out a doozy but she finally figured it what to feel when it happened. And she took a breath and felt it. Priestess is here too. And she's after one of our classmates. Said Toru. Wait are you sure? Asked Kyoka. Okay. I get your psychic, but we need a second opinion on that one. Said Aiko. Yeah, but we should be careful. It's not me for obvious reasons but it could be you. Said Toru. Kyoka nodded. Let's just go back to camp. Said Kyoka. Good idea. Said Toru. Both of them decided to head back to camp hoping that they wouldn't run into priestess or any other villains really. But still, there was still a lot going on and hopefully it would be fine. That will be it for this part. I hope everyone enjoyed if you did please leave a like and comment if you want part 54. If you want to hear more from me subscribe I hope to see you all in the next one.